Hey everybody, this is My Collectibles coming back with another video and we have X-Men 12 with the Juggernaut coming to the app. Here is a first look at it. It looks absolutely awesome. This is an absolutely beautiful comic. A really great Silver Age comic. You know, borderline grail. Definitely worth a lot of money in print, in IRL. I'm going to break it down for you. Tell you what I like about the drop and what I absolutely do not like about the drop. There is something quite big about that in regards to price and edition size, which I do think is going to affect this one, you know, in the aftermarket. And also it's going to affect it on its ability to sell out or not. I'll show you the IRL value on eBay as well. And another thing that we have coming up, just a reminder, is that we have the Juggernaut himself as a collectible. This is coming up on Sunday. If you're watching this video when I'm doing it on Friday, January 26th. So check out my video on that review right there. We're getting both. It's funny because at the end of that video, I actually brought up or in the middle of that video, I talked about this comic showing up and lo and behold, we're getting it right away. So if you do like the video, make sure you smash like and you got to comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about how they chose to do this and about this comic in general. But let's get to the article breakdown right now. Here it is right here. I'll put a link to this in the description of the video like I always do. This is my review, my personal opinion only. Uh, and I'll give you some price predictions as well coming up shortly. But this comic is so gorgeous, you guys. The first appearance of the Juggernaut. I mean, he's related to Professor X. There's the origin of Professor X in this key issue as well. So it is a really nice comic. Absolutely fantastic. Has really good IRL value as well. You know, if you look at Go Collect, because I have the full access account, so I always share it with you guys. Key issue, 1965, first appearance of the Juggernaut, origin of the Juggernaut, origin of Professor X. You can see a 9.8 sold in 2019 for almost 44,000. A 9.6 goes for 33,000 US. So you know this 9.8 would sell for higher today, probably around 60 or so if I was to guesstimate by looking at the comic book market right now, but very nice 3,600 graded big market cap. So this is a very popular comic. If you go over to eBay, you can pick up a raw copy in really good condition for anywhere from about six to 800 US. You might be able to get it a bit cheaper if you can find it from a dealer as well. Really low grade, but you can pick those up. Very nice. And X-Men 13, which I actually talked about in this video as well, is his second appearance comic right there. And if on eBay, you can see you can get both right there. This is pretty nice right there. So you can think about if you want to grab a copy of this in print, you, you'll have you'll be able to do it. But it'll cost you a few hundreds for sure on the lowest levels. But let's get back to the article. There's the common. There's the uncommon right there. Juggernaut's highlighted. I like that one. There's the rare. Looks really cool. Tons of detail. There's the colorized version of the rare right there. Looks amazing as well. And the secret rare is a ton of fun because it comes straight from the panel. And it's got the main character on the cover of the Juggernaut himself. Now, here is the issue, you guys. It has a list price of 10 gems. And it has 10,000 editions, a super limited drop. So this is the only issue I have with this drop is the price and the edition size. In my personal opinion, and from looking at the VV Marketplace, this is priced too high. It should be $6.99. And this comic to me should be a 7,500 mint run, not 10,000. I'm not exactly sure why they're doing this, why they're doing this on this particular comic. It is not grail level in regards to like having that super limited size and the 10 gems it's really interesting i'm not sure if they're actually just testing us out to see how these will do you know at this price level or why it's actually priced at this one it is a very nice comic there is no denying it this is a really great comic in print and should have really good value but the price and the edition size is going to affect this one in that regard i do not think this is going to sell out at least not initially it's going to take days and days you know at 10 gems uh, you know, that's a bit of a difference from $6.99. If it's $6.99 at $10,000, then I do think it sells out over uh, like a day or two. If it's uh, 7,500 editions, it sells out pretty fast. And if it's 5,000 or 6,000 editions, it sells out right away. So I think that that is going to hurt this drop right here. Now, is it a great comic? Absolutely. How much will it go for in the aftermarket? That's what we want to know. Here are my price predictions on this one. I do think this secret rare goes for about 125 or so from how many that are sold, because here's the issue. Not a ton of these are going to sell 
So there's going to be not that many in the market. We know this is probably going to happen. So that means the price of the secret rare will actually be pretty good because there's not going to be all of them in circulation. Remember, on this particular one, there's 250 and then they hold some back. So there's going to be a decent amount you know, that are not sold and not in circulation. And eventually they will burn this comic if it sits in the store. It might take six months or something. But so this one will end up being scarce. That's interesting. This could be one of those interesting things that Vivi's trying to do where, you know, we actually create scarcity through higher levels of pricing by not selling out in the store. It's kind of weird, but maybe in a year from now, this becomes an ultra scarce comic. So keep that in mind in the aftermarket as well. But anyway, I think this one goes for about 125. Should be much higher though, but that's the addition size affecting it right there. I think that this rare right here, this ultra rare goes for about... 25 to 30 at the most you guys i do think this rare here goes for about 13 to 10 and then you're going to have the common and the uncommon somewhere around three and four gems right there because it is a silver age but because of that 10 gem price ooh, it's going to be tough right it probably could go a little bit higher than that depending on how many people buy it but i got to tell you you know that's going to affect it so you guys this is just my opinion about it I'd love to know what you think about this drop as well. I'd like a little bit more clarification about why this is 10 gems and 10,000 editions as opposed to the other ones. I mean, even Spider-Man 2 was $6.99 and it was at, you know, what was it? 6,000 editions or 7,500 editions, something like that. E even those comics right there, which are nicer comics in regards to like, you know, the app for this time and place. So we'll see what happens. But you guys got to now let me know your thoughts. Are you going for this one at 10 gems and are you going to go for it in the aftermarket? My plan is to get the three digit common in the aftermarket for sure. I'm still deciding if I want to go for this at that 10 gem price. If I land the secret rare, that would be great. I might pull the trigger one time, but I'll probably go into the aftermarket and see what I can do. You know, if people do end up selling it for cheap, right? Anyway, good luck on the drop. I'll see you in the next video and happy collecting.